Oh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to a question apparently many of you seem to be bothered about. Do pilots listen to music during flight? And what's that got to do with your AM push button in your car? So pause your music for the next five minutes and let's get started. Receiver 191, after Centex, fly heading to 180, vector try left, descend and maintain 8000. This video is brought to you by Bose. First things first, if pilots really listen to music whilst flying, you will need to have the necessary headset able to connect it to your mobile phone, either via an auxiliary connection cable or via Bluetooth. To be fair, there's only a handful of headsets out there which have that feature that you can connect your music player. And the best in its class would be the Bose A20. Now on the control column, you can select between off, mute and mix. Now if it's set on mute, it will mute the volume immediately if either ATC is talking to you or your colleague via the intercom system. Setting it to mix, you'll be able to hear both at the same time. So you see the option actually exists that pilots could listen to music whilst flying. But the question is, do they? To be honest, there is no real answer to that question because either way, I've been judging my colleagues and that's one of the things that I would never do. But I can speak of my own experience, not gonna lie, yes, I have listened to some Frank Sinatra like come fly with me whilst I was flying my plane. But I quickly realized it is pretty unprofessional to do so. Now for a number of reasons. Now the mute setting drives you crazy after a few minutes. Imagine listening to a song like this. Uh, clearance United, uh, 512. Go ahead. Oh, yes, United 5 As if you'd be listening to a damaged CD. Well, yes, very enjoyable. Now, you only rarely will have like five to ten minutes of complete silence on ATC or intercom, but it really depends on where you're flying. The mix position is much better, but only until you've missed your first radio call. Once might be okay, but if it happens countless times, your colleague will be looking at you with a question mark on his face. Mate, what's up with you? Concentrate, or do you have problems with your hearing? Oh uh, yeah, United 512, I got a question. Uh, we're doing the uh, Kennedy One uh, breezy transition. After Ringer, are we clear to Red Robinsville? At that point, it becomes a safety issue and it is pretty embarrassing once your colleague realizes what's going on. Compare the situation as if you were driving your car. Now, I like listening to good music whilst I'm in my car, so probably you do too. If San Lucia or Michael Jackson is playing, I am totally losing it, but still, I like to be aware of my surroundings. Is my engine running smoothly? Are there any unusual noises coming up from my tires or my brakes, the suspension, the gearbox, the wipers, etc.? This might sound a bit odd, but whilst I am driving, I am one with my car, and me and you should have the same awareness whilst flying. Are the engines running smoothly? Are there any unusual sounds, vibrations? Does the plane feel right? You want to be one with your plane, and as I keep saying, be the pilot of your plane, not the other way around. So if I were to be listening and rocking along with Coldplay whilst flying, my sense of judgment would be reduced to my visual and feeling senses only. And hearing is so incredibly important during flying. Now on the A320, I could actually judge the power setting on approach just by listening to the engine sound. Now if I would have had Rod Stewart blasting Vagabond Heart through my ears at the same time, there is absolutely no way that I could have judged that power setting then. Flying includes all senses of your body to the misconception of many passengers and airline CEOs who think that we only push buttons. It's primarily about what you see, hear, and feel. Now there's a reason why I mentioned the sense of feeling last. The combination of all three of them is great during VMC conditions, but if you are in IMC, the first sense you completely have to ignore is the feeling sense. Only trust your instruments, not what your bum tells you. It might feel like you're flying in a straight line, but you could be in a 30 degree banking turn. I am not kidding. The look on flight students' faces experiencing that the first time, absolutely priceless. So what is the message of this video then? Yes, you can listen to music whilst flying. The question is, should you? Now I'm not recommending this, but 
Try it out for yourself and you will quickly realize it messes with your performance and that is the last thing you want, especially as a flight student. You've got tons to focus on and worry about and the last thing on your mind should be, hmm, I wonder what the next song is on my Justin Bieber playlist. <laughs> So my advice for you, don't do it. There are so many things pilots have to concentrate on and there are countless things pilots get distracted by and music doesn't belong into the cockpit. Music belongs into a lowrider or into Snoop Dogg's ATA. <laughs> now if you're questioning, why would Bose then put out such a headset in the first place? They never had the intention for you to listen to music whilst flying. They added the auxiliary and Bluetooth connection that you can pair it with your handheld GPS or similar navigation device, which will give you oral warnings, such as closing in on a restricted area or triggering the ground proximity warning system. In the whole manual, it says nothing about playing music whilst flying. But if you are considering on buying a new headset, I personally would highly recommend that you get the Bose A20. It is by far the best headset in its field and an investment for your ears and it'll be the only headset you will ever have to buy for your entire flying career. Now I have used this headset not just only on the 747 and the A320 but also on smaller airplanes and it is great if you're deadheading and sitting in between passengers, you'll be happy to have the Bluetooth function so you can listen to your tunes and blend out everything around you. But there is one way you could listen to music without having to connect it to a mobile device. Now, most airplanes are fitted with an ADF, the Automatic Direction Finder. Now, the ADF acts as a receiver, so if you tune in an NDB, a non-directional beacon, which transmits on the frequency range between 190 and 1750 kilohertz, the ADF will point its needle in the direction where the NDB is transmitting from. So a great tool to navigate. Now in your car, you have a similar button, that AM button on your radio. Well, it doesn't show you where the signal is coming from, but the AM radio stations transmit on a similar frequency range from 540 to 1600 kilohertz. So if you tune in an AM frequency in your plane with the ADF, you could listen to shortwave radio. Good afternoon, I'm Chris Barrow, welcome to BBC Radio 3. Coming up in an hour... Obviously, these radio stations are nowhere published in our airplane charts, but if you prepare in advance, you can locate AM radio stations along your route and listen to them if you have the time. This is very common if the Football World Cup is on. <laughs> That's it for today, thank you very much for your time. Hit that subscribe button and activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on upcoming videos. And don't forget, a good pilot is always learning. See you next week. Wishing you all the best. Your Captain Joe.